What is up, Hellions? As you can see, we are fully decked out in Pikachu gear. We have my Pikachu onesie on the back of the chair. We've got Pikachu straight from Japan right here. I got this guy while I was in Japan at the Pokemon Center. And why are we decked out in Pikachu? Because this is the first episode of the chase for Chunkachu. That is right. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be opening five Vivid Voltage Packs every single week until we pull the Rainbow Pikachu. That is why we are decked out in Pikachu, because this Pikachu that's come straight from Japan is going to bless every single pack. And hopefully, you're going to pull us the Rainbow Chunkachu. So as you can see right here, I've got an entire booster box, 36 packs of Vivid Voltage. And hopefully, in one of these packs, we will have the Rainbow Chunkachu. I'm super excited to crack these open and get into it. But first, I want to tell you that this is going to be a weekly series alongside my dollar store opening series that's going to happen they'll both be running at the same time tuesday and thursday so you can look forward to both of those videos every single week in these videos i will be giving out all of the code cards to you guys from every single pack all of the code cards will be given out as i pull them here during the video so that is a special treat for you i only ask in return that you hit that like button down below if you enjoy the video today and if you're not yet subscribed hit that subscribe button as well all right guys without further ado should we crack into them I'm super excited. I'm super excited because I really, I can, I can feel it. I feel like when I picked it up out of the box, when I pulled this thing out of the box, it felt like I got a little shock and I feel like that's going to be the Pikachu that we're looking for. So I'm hoping that it's in this booster box here and this isn't a year long series of me trying to pull this damn Pikachu. It could be though, because the Pikachu is a very rare card. So I think for each of these videos, just for variety's sake, I'm going to pull one of each artwork out of the box. And I think to start, I should probably just pull them all out of the box and give them a little bit of a shuffle because there is some theories out there that with some of these booster boxes, you can um, kind of map them, I guess, and you can kind of tell where the, the nice pulls are going to be um, prior to being able to actually pull them, which would be kind of bad because if you, if you had a store that had these kind of open and... Uh, for available for purchase you would think someone might be able to just go in there and pick out one that you know is mapped to be a decent uh, a decent card but we're just going to give these a little bit of a shuffle whoops 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 <laughs> everything's falling um we don't want to give them too much of a shuffle because we want to keep the cards in good solid condition and we're actually going to put them back maybe <laughs> it's a lot harder to put them back than to pull them out that's for sure <laughs> all right one side in oof this is, I feel like when they wrap them, they wrap them pretty tight. So, yep, okay. This one's a lot better than the last one. The last one I did was super tight, and it was uh, it was not working out. All right, guys, so like I said, we're going to pull one of each artwork. We're going to have one extra because we're doing five packs, and there's four artworks, but, you know, it is what it is. This one, nice and sticking out, Celebi artwork. We have a Zerud artwork, an Orbital artwork, and there should be another one, I think. Who is the fourth artwork? Maybe there's only three. Oh, Pikachu, duh. And a Pikachu artwork. Okay, so there is a theory that one of my friends on my live stream brought up. And he seems to think that the Orbital packs seem to give better pulls. So I am going to go with that, with that expert knowledge from a very random source. Uh, I'm going to go in with an extra Orbital pack just to see if we can get some of that extra luck that apparently happens in Orbital packs. By the way, I I cannot confirm that. I have no idea if that is the case. We're just going to go with these five packs here. We have two Orbital artwork, one Zerud, one Celebi, and one Pikachu. Fingers crossed that there is an amazing pull in one of these cards, in one of these packs. I'm super excited to crack into this and get this series underway i've been waiting for this box to come in forever now uh so very excited to um to get this going okay here we go first pack first pack magic maybe come on now first pack magic give me some good first pack mm -mm -mm. that would be great so if you if you haven't opened a lot of um vivid voltage one of the amazing things about the set in my opinion is that usually the code guard in other sets will tell you whether or not you have a good pull in your deck. Like this one, for instance, is green. So in the past, gr a green code card would mean that you're not, you don't have a hollow or anything better in there. It's just gonna be a regular rare. 
Well, in Vivid Voltage, it's nice because they have the amazing rares that are in the reverse holo slot. So this has no bearing on whether or not you get an amazing rare. So even if you get a green code card, don't fret. There's a possibility of getting an amazing rare. It's pretty cool. I like it. All right. So like I said, all the codes are going to you guys. There you go. Code card. Ooh, okay. One, two, three, four. The first of all of the... Oh, the first of the series, the first pack of the series. Here we go. Very excited. We have a Psychic Energy. We have Hitmontop, Krakorok, Delmise, Charmander. Love Charmander. Wooper. We also could find the Reverse Hollow Charizard, which is quite a decent pull in this pack as well. Meowth, Cottony, Arakuda. Reverse Hollow. Oh, Reverse Hollow Samurott. A Reverse Hollow Rare right out of the first pack. Very awesome. And our rare is going to be a Lycanroc, but a non hollow Lycanroc. I don't think I have Lycanroc. I think I might have Samurott already in my binder, uh, but I don't think I have Lycanroc. So very cool. Very cool. I'll be able to add that to my binder. Very cool first pack. Two rares. Uh, pretty sick so far. We're going to put these up here. You guys can see the rares and the reverse hollows. And then I'm going to just move these other cards over here. Okay. On to the Celebi pack. Celebi has a very cool, amazing rare in this uh, in this set. I have two of them, actually. And they're both... I sent them both to CGC to get graded because they were very, very good condition. So I sent them out to CGC. They're there right now. Um, they should be back hopefully next month sometime. And I will do a video of checking out my returns. So I'm not going to look at it this time. Here's the code card. Oops, upside down. <laughs> Here's the code card for you guys. Go for it. And move this out of the way. We're going to do the card trick. Now, apparently every pack past X and Y is four cards. Uh, X and Y and lower, I think, is three cards. And then I'm not really sure for vintage packs, but it's four cards, four cards to the front. That puts the rare in the back. So this back card is going to be the rare. Pretty awesome. Fire energy. And you know you did it right if you get an energy. <laughs> you know you did it right if you get an energy. Kakuna Matata. Chester Bath, Stunfisk, Cottony, Aracuda, that's our second Aracuda, Ninkata, Pikapuk, Hochiana, and Reverse Aromatic Energy. Okay, Reverse Energy, all right, I guess. And a Jolteon, hell yeah, dude. Jolteon is sick. That's awesome. I think I have a Jolteon already. I'm not 100% sure, but pretty awesome card. I love Jolteon. He is the bomb. Any evolution, honestly. Evolutions are just super cool, in my opinion. I really like evolutions a lot. Next pack. All right. I'm going to do the Zerud, and I'm going to keep the two Magic Orbital packs for last. <laughs> it's really funny that for some reason he thinks that <laughs> he can actually get better cards out of the Orbital packs. That's why I kind of want to do a series where I open up a booster box and we actually test that theory. I think that would be very, very uh, fun to do. I could prove him wrong. All right, so code card. We're not going to look at the back of that. We don't want to spoil anything for ourselves. One, two, three, four. And even if we did, we could still get an amazing rare. So oh, there is always a chance for a decent pull, which is, which is really awesome. That's why I love this set so much. Fighting Energy. Cocoon Amatata. Damn, another Moo Moo Cheese. All right. Sabli. Duskull, Voltorb, Weedle, <laughs> Trilber, Clefairy, Reverse Hollow. Yo, Reverse Matang. Nice. Reverse Uncommon Matang. Very cool. I like the Reverse Hollows in this. I like that they did this cool pattern with their uh, with their energy type. It's pretty pretty sick. Pretty cool. And last but not least, our rare is Yo. Okay, Leon Hollow. Leon Hollow. Pretty sure I have a Leon Hollow already. Uh, but cool, we got a hollow rare. That's pretty awesome. We'll add that to the rare pile. We'll add this guy to the reverse hollow pile. We will move these bad boys out of the way. 
All right, so nothing too crazy so far. My my luck continues. <laughs> my my fantastic luck continues uh, once again, and uh, hopefully we will get something pretty cool out of this Orbito pack, the Magic Orbito packs. Let's see if we can find something solid in the Orbito pack. All right, we'll give this to you guys. Go for it. Okay. One, two, three, four, to the front. The very nice uh, condition on the back. Hopefully it's something good. Centering is pretty sick. All right, here we go. Darkness Energy, Rocky Helmet, Galvantula, Swellow, Dynamo, Execute, Chatot, Blabopus, Reverse Hollow? Nope, not yet. Skiddo. Reverse holo. <laughs> Swoobat. All right, Swoobat is a reverse holo uncommon. And our rare is a freaking Fortress. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Not the best so far. Not the best. Uh, we've got we've got one pack left for this week. Woo! Uh, not starting off very hot. Not starting off very hot. This is, uh, this is kind of worrying. Remember, we have 36 packs in this booster pack, so obviously... They're not all going to be bangers, but uh, it would have been nice to get something decent. We do have one pack left, a Magic Orbital pack. Hopefully, Orbital, this Orbital has something good in store for us. All right, buddy, come on out. Come on out, pal. Come on out, pal. There we go. All right. Not going to look. I'm going to try not to look. I always have a bad habit of looking because I want to know before I get there for some reason. I want to ruin the surprise for myself. I'm a person who always likes to uh, set myself up for failure, <laughs> as bad as that sounds. Um, because if I know that it's coming, then I'm not disappointed when I get there, you know? But uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm kind of a pessimist like that. But you know, it's nice to have the little surprise for sure. Leaf energy. Galvantula, Go Goat, Winden Stadium, Whalmer, Tynamo, Execute, Chatot. Wait, is there some? It feels like a really thick car. Clobopus, Reverse Hollow per Pin Kirchen, which I think. Is it Darkness Ablaze? I think Darkness Ablaze. I have a couple hollows of Pin Kirchen because he was a rare in Darkness Ablaze, but apparently not a rare in this set. And our rare is a freaking Al Creamy. What a first episode. Um, geez. <laughs> okay. So our rares that we got were uh, Lycanroc non-hollow, Jolteon non-hollow, Leon hollow, Fortress non-hollow, and Alcremy non-hollow. I really hope that this is not a sign of what's to come in terms of what kinds of pulls we're going to get out of this box. Uh, I really hope that <laughs> we will have some better luck in future episodes. Our reverse hollows were Samurott, uh, Aromatic Energy, Matang, Swoobat, and Pincurchin. So reverse hollows are pretty nice. We got a reverse hollow rare. Got to be happy about that. All right, guys, there we have it. Uh, first episode of Chasing Chunkachu and... That did not go over very well. We, we did not really get the amazing pulls that I was hoping for, but it's only five packs of a 36 pack booster box. We have a lot of packs left and I'm sure there will be some goodness in this box. Pikachu, I totally forgot to bless all the packs with Pikachu. I was gonna have him kiss all the packs. We'll definitely do that next episode. We will have Pikachu bless every single pack. That's why, oh my God, what? Uh, Pikachu, why didn't you remind me? Why didn't you remind me? Oh, man. That's why we didn't have any good pulls. I didn't have Pikachu straight from Japan. I didn't have Pikachu straight from Japan bless all the packs. That's exactly what I was going to do. So we will do that next episode for sure. If you enjoyed the episode today and you are you can't wait to find that chunky Pikachu just like I can't, uh, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps me out a lot. I'm trying to grow here to get to that thousand subs so that I can monetize and get a community going and stuff. So the way that I can achieve that is with your help. It's completely free. It helps me a lot just to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications because you'll be the first to be notified when I go live and you'll be the first to get your hands on those code cards. All right, guys, have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good one. See you later.